Oh boy, it's Jordan Ferber here coming to you live from the Compassionate Friends Conference. Uh, I'm here as always to honor my brother Russell, who passed away in 2002. Uh, it's always been a hard thing to deal with, and I've tried to keep my sense of humor about it all. So one of the most important things for my process has, has always been to find things to laugh at and things to joke about and find ways to keep my my wits about me. Uh, and it's always hard to, f to do that. I, I tell people all the time, I go to a support group for bereaved siblings, and turns out that's a great sentence that you can use if you ever need to get out of a conversation. Usually followed by me being alone with my thoughts again. You are welcome. Uh, but I feel like for me, it's always been important to try to normalize the conversations we have about grief. The way I do that is uh, by, by having the jokes about it. So in the first year of my grief, I always had a hard time expressing it to a lot of people. And I would always have friends call me that didn't get it. who would say, hey, come to my birthday party. But, you know, don't be the weird crying guy at the end of the bar. And I was like, well, do you want me to come or not? Seems like some mixed messaging. I'm not really sure how I feel about signs, but I know that my mother is very invested in it. She's convinced that my brother leaves dimes for her everywhere. So whenever she finds a dime on the ground, she picks it up. Ah, Russell left me this dime. So now I'm picking up dimes. But I'm always a little self-conscious about it. I always feel like there's somebody watching me. Every time I pick up a dime from the ground, I feel like there's somebody like, oh, told you he was Jewish. 